Shalom. Kahalayla Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Hashem or to the 144,000. Double honor respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. Thou shalt love thy brother in thy heart. So I wanted to briefly go into this lesson. I'm going to have to make this very short, <clears throat> Lord willing. So I want to go into this lesson here. And first and foremost, the brotherhood consists of the elect, the anointed ones. That's the brotherhood, the brethren. We're not gathering with comedic people and Islam, Buddhists, Hindus, that's total confusion and madness. <coughs> Let's go here. So Yahweh Shai made it simple for us. Let's go to Matthew 12 and 48. <coughs> and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, red letter. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. So this is the elect, ultimately, of men, women, and children. Let's look up brethren in the Greek, brethren. So the election have attained this, and the rest are blinded. So the Lord is only dealing with the elect, that's the brethren, the brotherhood, that are in the faith. Let's look up this word, brethren. I'm not going to make this long at all. <clears throat> brethren. In the Greek is Adelphos, Adelphos, Adelphos. I, I suck in Greek. But anyway, see, brothers by blood, apostles having the same national ancestor, those who are exalted to the same heavenly place. So the brotherhood are the anointed. <laughs> the anointed ones. Those that are in the faith. And the Bible makes and dis makes a distinction and says that the elect shall praise his holy name. So you got many Israelites calling on false gods. And that penalty is death for that. So we cannot join with someone calling on other gods or teaching other doctrines. So clearly the elect are those of the right faith and doctrine and name. <laughs> Let's go to Romans 11. The book of Romans chapter 11. Let's go to verse 4. But what saith the answer of God unto him. I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. See? So those that are worshiping other gods are outside of the Lord's temple or sanctuary. And there's many Israelites doing this. Even during the um, Maccabees time under uh, Judas, he was fighting against wicked Israelites that were joined unto Antiochus. Matter of fact, I want to go to something after this. Let's keep going. Romans 11 and 5. Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So that remnant are going to make it on this side and be delivered, covered under the right arm of the Most High, Grace, Yahweh Shai. 
The mercy is through him. And if by grace, then is it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for. But the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. So the elect is calling on Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai and singing the same song. So what have the election obtained? Mercy and grace, but coupled with understanding the right doctrine and knowing the right name. Yahweh, a heavenly father, and Yahweh Shai, the, the son of the most high. See, let's go here. <clears throat> so when you read Exodus 32, those that Moses was given the command to slay were worshiping other gods. <clears throat> See, Exodus 32. <laughs> Let's go here. Let me go right to it. Exodus 32. Let's go to verse 25. This is heavy. Exodus 32 and 24. And I said unto them, Whosoever have any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it to me. Then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. The Israelites started going off, committing idolatry, and the penalty for that is death. So the elect are separated from this type of debauchery, wholly separate. <laughs> and when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies, they're naked mean they are they're committing iniquity, transgression. <clears throat> then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. So we're <clears throat> we're seeing a separation here. Exodus 32 and 27. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. So is Moses going off? <laughs> No, because our brothers are doing what the Most High commands. <clears throat> That's the sanctuary or the holy temple. <clears throat> so the brotherhood in modern times are the Lord's anointed ones, his elect. That's thou shalt love thy brother in thy heart. Read it again. <clears throat> <coughs> Exodus 32 and 27. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. See? So when you read this, they committed idolatry. Even unto this day, Israelites are doing this and are joined unto the heathen. See, let's go to the last scripture here. 
Let's go to verse 20, uh, 34. <clears throat> Therefore, Exodus 32 and 34. Therefore, now go lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto thee. Behold, my angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. So Yahweh Shai is going to do that again during these times. Because you still have rebels doing the same thing they've always done. <clears throat> and the Lord plagued the people because they made the calf, which Aaron made. Just like that bank has a uh, golden calf symbol. I think it's Merle Lynch, if I'm not mistaken. Merle Lynch. So many Israelites are worshiping mammon, gods of the other nations. So they're joined unto idols or gold and silver, even unto this day. Judas Maccabees was fighting wicked Israelites of the southern kingdom primarily that were joined unto Antiochus. <clears throat> so, I mean, it, it hasn't changed. So I guess King David is going off too. Let's read this. <clears throat> Psalms 139. Uh, let's keep going to verse 19. The book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. So those that are committing idolatry are not doing what Yahweh Shai said to do, feed his sheep, and are calling on the names of other gods. They're bloody men. Their hands are bloody. So they're not covered under the blood of Yahweh Shai unless they're amongst the elect and repent from that behavior. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. These are not our brothers or sisters. They are not amongst the elect. How do we know that? Because the Bible says that the elect shall praise his holy name. Surah 17 and 10, if I'm not mistaken. That's another death blow. We got to stop calling everybody our brother because they're not. <clears throat> Psalms 139, verse 20. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? See? So it's not by accident that Moses began to slay those that were joined unto idols. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. Lead me in the way everlasting. Lead me to follow the angel of the Lord, the way, the truth, and the life, which is Shai, the angel of the Lord, that goes before us. Let's get one more. Let's read this again. You know, Howard Shai made this easy. Matthew 12 and 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. See? Matter of fact, let's go here. Brought this out the other day. So the elect is worshiping and exalting the holy name of the heavenly father and of the son in truth and sincerity. The true worshipers of the most high 
worshiping him in truth and spirit. Let's get this one. <clears throat> Matthew 18 and 20. Matthew 18 and 20, Yahweh Shai speaking in the red letter, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So that's not the comedic gods or the, the what you call these men, these black only comedic faith gods. That's not Kim or Chem. That's not the Islam. It's not them. They're not gathered together in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It's not the Ya 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 people. It's not them. So it's clear. It's right here. But Jake loves to think he can save everybody. Well, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So this is where the edification comes out. Those that are worshiping in truth and sincerity, calling on and exalting the holy name and preaching the right doctrine. <clears throat> so when we read, <clears throat> goodness gracious, so when we read Leviticus 19, where is it at? Thou shalt not hate thy brother right here. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So the brotherhood are those of the anointed, the right doctrine, and that are worshiping in the right name. <clears throat> Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love the, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. So it's just like if you have a falling out in a camp between a brother. That's where the peace is made. Those that are in the right doctrine and in the truth, in other words. The, elect, the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So those that are amongst the, the right doctrine. <clears throat> anyway, I have to end it there. So Moses was not going off, neither was King David. The brotherhood are those gathered in the right spirit, the right doctrine, the right name. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwan Yeshuala and the Ba Ba Ba. We got next, Lord willing. Baraka Thumb, Baraka Thumb, Kwan Yeshuala and the Ba Ba Ba. Shalom.